Why do animals look so strange after extinctions? Well, mass extinctions have a way of reshaping life on Earth. You see, when a major extinction event wipes out large portions of species, it creates vast ecological vacancies, essentially nature's version of a reset button. What happens next explains why animals often look strange after these events, and hopefully may give you some peace of mind when considering that Earth has been through so many crazy events that it's not quite anything that's actually completely uh, annihilated Earth and all of its existence. Things have come close, but it always finds a way to rebalance and revive itself. So in the aftermath, surviving species face less competition and new opportunities. This allows evolution to experiment, often leading to bizarre adaptations. For example, after the Permian-Triassic extinction, ancient reptiles evolved into everything, you know, from gliding predators to enormous long-necked herbivores like sauropods. So similarly, after the asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs, mammals quickly diversified into forms like saber-toothed cats and giant round sloths. So with less competition, nature pushes boundaries, leading to unusual designs that might not thrive in more stable uh, ecosystems. So these strange forms, though often give rise to the next dominant species, proving that evolution flourishes truly in chaos and actually more unpredictable times. So in conclusion, mass extinctions spark creativity and evolution. It produces creatures that may seem strange to us as humans, but they're nature's boldest attempts at essentially surviving and adapting. And it's been like that for hundreds of millions of years. And I think that's ultimately for me as a learning human being for the rest of my life. I think that'll always be something cool to understand about the different creatures and the different ecosystems that we live among. Like these things have gone through periods and so many things of just evolution and adapt and trial and error to become as efficient for survival and adaptation as possible, such as we have. But I think it's something special about watching it from an outside lens. I think that's pretty cool. Thanks for hanging out with me today.